Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, we are continuing the video word chart tutorial for the right angle weave. We are on row 9. I am using my pattern Bell for this project. Here is our piece through row 8. Now, um, at the beginning of row 9, we, this is a decreasing row, and our string is coming towards the end of our previous row. Here's our string, and it's coming out of our bead towards the end of our previous row. So we will start by adding our three, B's, three beads, which are all A color. Oops, just lost them all. So there it is. Okay, let's try that again. All right, there's our three beads. And we'll let them drop down. And then when you add three beads, you go through the bead that your string is coming out of. And there we have the first three beads for row nine. And then we want to go through all three beads and through the side bead for the next set. One, two, three, and then the next side bead. And now we are beginning, ready to begin adding our row. And we are beginning with our string coming out of the side bead of our previous row. And we're going to add our two colors, which is a C followed by an A. Let them drop down. And then we will go through the top and side bead. And then we'll go through the first bead we added to position for the next set. And now our string is coming out of the top bead of our current row. And we're going to add the two beads, which are C followed by B. Them drop down, and then we go through the side and top bead. The side bead and top bead, and then we will position. And then my string is short, so before we begin the next set, we are going to add a new string. And remember, you want to enter where your old string is exiting. So we're going to enter this bead right here where our old string is exiting, which is the side bead. And then you can double check. There, your string is coming out of the same bead. 
to pull through about four inches and then you will want to do the securing with the figure eight type threading. center bead third center bead and we'll go back the direction we came from that's how you do the figure eight you go back just weaving sort of from the opposite side And just as you went out three center beads, you will go back three center beads. And when you're done securing that one, you make sure to clip it off, but make sure you're clipping the correct string. Then you can take your old string and secure it. three centers so we will head back where we came from off the excess, making sure that we're clipping off the correct string. And now we are ready to begin. And our string is coming out of the side bead of our previous row. And when you add a string, it's good to make sure where you are. One, two, we've added three, so we're ready to start four. And the next four sets are all two Bs, so we'll add two Bs. Added our two. <coughs> now we'll let them drop down. And we'll go through the top and side bead, so the top of our current row, and the side bead that our string is coming out of. Is that my string? And then to set up for the next one, we go through the first bead we just added, which is our new top bead. And now our string is coming out of the top of the current row. We add two B colors. Go ahead and let them drop down. And then we go through the side and then the top bead. And 
and then to position we go through the first two beads we added and the next side bead. Now our string is coming out of the side bead of our previous row. We're going to add our next two B colors. And we'll let them drop down. And then we'll go through the top and side bead. into position we go through the first bead we just added and now our string is coming out of the top of the current row we add our next two B colors Let them drop down. And then we go through the side, then the top bead. And now we go through the two we added plus the next side bead. And now before we continue, we will count to make sure where we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've added the last of the two B's. We're ready for eight. Our string should be coming out of the previous, the side bead on the previous row, and it is. So we now need an A followed by a C. Let them drop down. And we go through the top bead and then the side bead. into position we'll go through that first bead we just added now we've come to the last set it begins the way we usually add our string is coming out of the top of our current row and we'll add our two beads both are a color Let them drop down and then we'll go through the side and top bead. And then it changes when we position our string. So instead of going, oh, wait a minute, I had the wrong one. Sorry, I need to see. I knew it looked wrong. Okay, so here we are. 
our string is coming out of this speed here. And instead of going up for an increasing, we go down to the second bead, which is the bead below it, for a decreasing row. Go through that second side bead. And now we are all set to begin our next row. I hope to see you there.